Yesterday, I talked, quoting from Revelations 2, verse 17, and it talks about a new name being written on the white stone. Let's talk about what a new name means for you. This refers to a new nature in you. When we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, it means in first century Christianity, in the nature of Jesus Christ. I have a nature, you have a nature. And what we're trying to do during this Lenten period is lift up our nature by no longer thinking negative or even having a negative thought rest or dwell in us. We become like a landlord that casts out tenants that aren't working, the tenants of our mind that have taken up living there and not paying any rent. A new nature in you and your nature. What is that new nature? It is not to be sick. It's not to be misguided or going down the path leading to a failure. You are a child of God and your mind is an offspring of divine mind and therefore you think like a king. You know that every true power in the universe is at your grasp. No one knows except those that receive it because it can't be comprehended ahead of time. But once you have it, you know and you can tell that something miraculous has occurred. I can tell you about God, but to know God, you have to contact God yourself and feel God's power yourself. If you are filled with darkness of negative thought, the light will fill and thrill you with its divine revelations. And you will be left with an entirely new perspective on your current circumstances. You will have a new vision as you look towards tomorrow. You will literally have a new mind. You will have the mind of Christ. This can be a new beginning for your prosperity and your ability to have continued success. All prosperity begins, you know where? Right here, in your mind. It begins with ideas, and today is a good day to begin. A fresh new start, because you have a new mind. The Bible says, do not be conformed to this world, or worldly thoughts, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. When I am beginning again, I like to say this prayer and I ask you to write it down and say it as often as you need to. All things are working together for my highest good and happiness. And I am working with them in the wisdom and the power of God.